VCPDC V2023 2 volts 0 minus 21.23 real dumps are newly updated to help you pass VMware vSphere 8. X Professional Exam. 1. An administrator is working with VMware support and is asked to provide log bundles for the SG hosts in an environment. Which three options does the administrator have? Choose three. A. Generate a combined log bundle for all SG hosts using the vCenter management interface. B. Generate a separate log bundle for each SG host using the vSphere host client. C. Generate a combined log bundle for all SG hosts using the vSphere client. D. Generate a separate log bundle for each SG host using the vSphere client. E. Generate a separate log bundle for each SG host using the vCenter management interface. F. Generate a combined log bundle for all SG hosts using the vSphere host client. Answer. BCD. 2. An administrator needs to consolidate a number of physical servers by migrating the workloads to a software-defined data center solution. Which VMware solution should the administrator recommend? A. VMware Horizon B. VMware vSAN C. VMware vSphere D. VMware NSX Answer. C. 3. An administrator is tasked with configuring remote direct memory access, RDMA, over converged Ethernet v2, ROS v2. Which two types of adapters must the administrator configure? Choose 2. A. Paravirtual RDMA adapter. B. RDMA Network Adapter C. Software ISCSI Adapter D. Fiber Channel over Ethernet, FCOE, Adapter E. Software NVMe over RDMA Storage Adapter Answer. B. 4. An administrator has a host profile named Standard Config. The administrator wants to change the other host profiles to use only the storage configuration settings that are defined in the Standard Config host profile. What should the administrator do to make this change? A. Export host customizations and import them to the other host profiles. B. Copy the storage settings from standard config to all other host profiles. C. Duplicate the standard config host profile and only modify the storage configuration settings. D. Export the standard config host profile and attach it to tile other hosts. Answer. B. 5. Which two data store types store the components of a virtual machine as a set of objects? Choose 2. A. VMware Virtual Machine File System, VMFS B. VMware vSAN C. Network File System, NFS 3 D. vSphere Virtual Volumes, vVols E. Network File System, NFS, 4.1 Answer, BD 6. An administrator creates a virtual machine that contains the latest company-approved software, tools and security updates. Company policy requires that only full clones are allowed for server workloads. 
A combination of which two tasks should the administrator complete to prepare for the deployment of this virtual machine for multiple users? Choose to A. Set appropriate permissions on the virtual machine. B. Create a virtual machine customization specification. C. Upgrade the virtual hardware. D. Convert the virtual machine to a template. E. Take a snapshot of the virtual machine. Answer. B. D. 7. A company has two sites. Site A and Site B. The administrator would like to manage the VMware vCenter inventories in both sites from a single vSphere client session. Which vCenter feature must be configured? A. VMware Certificate Authority B. VMware Site Recovery Manager C. vCenter Single Sign-On D. Enhanced Linked Mode Answer D. 8. Which VMware offering will allow an administrator to manage the lifecycle of multiple vCenter server instances in a single software as a service? SaaS, based solution to help drive operational efficiency? A. VMware vSphere with Tanzu B. VMware Cloud Foundation C. VMware vSphere Plus D. VMware ARIA Suite Lifecycle Answer. C. 9. An administrator is tasked with looking into the disaster recovery options for protecting a database server using VMware vSphere replication. The following requirements must be met. The virtual machine must remain online during the protection. The virtual machine's snapshots must be used as part of the replication process. Which step must the administrator complete to accomplish this task? A. Configure the virtual machine storage policy. B. Enable guest OS VSS quiescing for this virtual machine. C. Perform a full initial synchronization of the source virtual machine to the target location. D. Configure network traffic isolation for vSphere replication. Answer. C. 10. An administrator must gracefully restart a virtual machine, VM, through the vSphere client but the option is grayed out. The administrator has full administrative access on VMware vCenter and all the objects available in vCenter, but has no access to log onto the operating system. Which action should the administrator take to meet the objective? A. Upgrade the virtual hardware. B. Migrate the VM to another host. C. Install VMware tools. D. Restart vCenter. Answer. C.